coming to you from Medellin, Colombia to, again. Uh, and I want to say some more stuff to you from Merle Unger. Uh, he says, in such a case, the normal struggle between the flesh and the spirit, Galatians 5.17, ceases. The believer is invaded and overrun by the enemy, who, like any invading foe, does not permit the use of weapons of any sort by the citizens of the country overrun. As a result, there's no struggle, only enforced submission and subservience. Isn't that a crazy thought? The devil comes in and he immediately neutralizes all the spiritual weapons we have in our de defense. He goes on to say, the Holy Spirit indwelling the uh, believer ungrieved by sin, Ephesians 4.30, and unquenched by disobedience, 1 Thessalonians 5.19, most certainly precludes invasion by a demon spirit. But who dares assert that a demon spirit will not invade the life of a believer in which the Holy Spirit has been grieved by serious and persistent sin and quenched by flagrant disobedience? The demon enters. It is true, as a squatter, not as an owner or a guest, as one who has, who, as one who has a right, uh, not, or a guest, or as one who has a right there. He comes in as an intruder, as an invader, an enemy, but come he does. If the door is open by serious and protracted sin, come he does. Satan and his minions have no legal right to enter, for the Christian's body belongs to the only God, only to God, both by creation and redemption. But as a squatter defined as one who settles on land without right or title or payment of rent, a demon can come in and settle down for a time. He will leave only if he is forcibly ejected by faith and prayer on part of the Christian warriors who know their position and resources in Christ and use their prayer armor effectively. I know I was getting eat up with bitterness. I was getting eat up with being hurt, resentment. I know it was happening in my life. And I, after reading this book, realized so much where the devil was on the attack. The roaring lion was prowling. And God was saying, also, don't listen to this. Don't do it. Forgive, surrender, love, do right. The devil's screaming, screaming other things. It must be stressed that demons cannot indwell a Christian in the same sense as the Holy Spirit. God's Spirit enters a believer at salvation permanently, never to leave. A demon, by contrast, enters as a squatter, an intruder, and is subject to momentary eviction. A demon never rightfully or permanently lives and dwells a saint as the Holy Spirit does. No demon can ever have influence over any part of a Christian's life that is yielded to the Holy Spirit. I, I don't know what you think, but boy, those are shocking words for me. And, but they're words that I think deserve my attention to, to study and make sure I'm not letting the devil win in a war against me and against the God of heaven who wants to use me.